we're going to develop a thermostat for a home. So we have a uh, home and it is currently um, 40 degrees outside. Okay, 40 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, this home has been uninhabited for a while so it's also 40 degrees Fahrenheit inside the home. So you're going to come in uh, and turn on the thermostat. Let's say we just uh, turned on the heater. Okay, so we have a little heater here that's going to blow uh, hot air into our home and heat it up. Okay, and now just suppose for uh, the sake of, of uh, this, this situation, if you left the heater on uh, indefinitely, we'd say it might get up to something like 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's where we would get to if you just left on, uh, turned on the heater. Okay, so this is the uh, furnace. Okay, and at a certain time, uh, we're going to turn it on, and uh, that will be a zero for uh, off and a one for on. Okay, and then the temperature, okay, we're going to measure the temperature here, and it's going to then rise and gradually make it up to this 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Now we don't want it that hot, okay? So we might want it, uh, for example, between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to go right in between um, these two. Okay, so that's our target uh, range for this application, our target range, um, where we want to keep um, the, the, uh, the heater in between that range, um, maybe turn it on or off as, as necessary. Okay, so this is our, this is our um, model and our objective. Okay, we're gonna get our model from this. We're gonna say it's gonna get about 63% of the way to 100 degrees um, in 120 minutes. Okay, so that defines our, our time constant okay for our home and then our gain uh, our gain is going to be equal to the delta temperature divided by the delta uh, the, the furnace on or off and so that's going to equal 60 degrees Fahrenheit that's a change divided by 1 minus 0 when we turn it on so our gain is going to be equal to 60 uh, degrees Fahrenheit per um, on fraction for the thermostat Okay, so we have our gain and time constant. We're just going to write uh, a single differential equation that's going to approximate the temperature in the home. This is a first order linear model. Okay, so T minus T naught. T naught is going to be equal to the 40 uh, degrees Fahrenheit plus Kp times U. Okay, so the U is zero or one, that's on or off. And uh, so this one equation right here is what we'll use to approximate uh, these dynamics right there. But also as we get up to um, this target range, it'll also be used for that as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go to uh, here and create a model of my home. And so that is going to be, uh, first of all, constants. I'm gonna have my Kp value, my tau p. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this over here a little bit to the side so we can see both of them. Okay, and then I have my initial temperature of 40, and then I have some parameters as well. I'm gonna have a integer value between zero and one. Okay, so that's my, that's my furnace, which is gonna be between zero and one. And then I have, um, I have also a uh, variables, I have my Temperature, I'm going to initialize it to T naught. Okay, and then I have intermediates as well. I have U value, um, and that's going to be just renaming that. Okay, and then equations, there's my equation that I mentioned before. Okay, so um, I can also put in, um, well, uh, this is a uh, integer uh, solution right here. Uh, so we can also uh, change one of the options for our solver. Okay, so that's going to be apop.opt. Okay, now what I'm going to do is going to go come to a uh, Python file here and go ahead and create a, um, a new Python script, which is going to import the APM library um, server and application name, and then I have uh, clear all for that command. 
Um, let me go ahead and make this full screen and then I'll show the MATLAB development as well. Um, okay, so I'll just go ahead and split the view there and uh, kind of same thing here with the MATLAB. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to load my home.apm and here as well load my model file and then uh, the next thing I'll, I'll do is load a data file. Now this is going to be a control.csv file and on here as well uh, csv load okay now i need to create this one this is going to be my these are going to be my time points so i'll do zero one two four okay so i'll put in some values up to a hundred spaced with uh, increments of five actually i'll go to 150 there okay so there is my um, csv file i'll go ahead and save it just um, this is going to be a csv file Okay, comma separated value. Okay, so now it's loaded, and now I'm going to uh, create a manipulated variable. This is going to be my integer u value, and then also my temperature is going to be my CV value. I'm going to switch it to dynamic optimization mode. Set point high is going to be 70, set point low is 68, and then I'm going to turn my status on and uh, also set it to a dead band. Okay, so tr init is zero for my dead band. You can get some of the tuning values if you come to dynamic optimization course and um, if you go under control objectives right here you can see some of the um, objective functions here for uh, for this and then if you go under control tuning um, it'll show you some of these uh, parameters that were changing and what they mean okay so here is for example tr init right there and those are some common uh, values that we set them to. Okay, so now I'm going to do this for APM info um, for uh, my MATLAB file, and then these same options that you saw before. Okay, back to Python. Um, I turn the status on for my manipulated variable, meaning it's going to make it a degree of freedom, and then I'll solve it, and I'll print the output, and open a web viewer. Same for MATLAB as well. Turn the status on, solve it, display the output and then open a web viewer okay and so now I have my MATLAB and my Python files let me go ahead and just open these up and solve them okay so I'll do the Python first okay and I'll run it and um, okay so it's going to take a few seconds to optimize and then we'll see what it wants to do for the um, okay the temperature profile here okay so this is the optimal okay heating profile it heats up the home and then it turns on or off uh, and keeps it within that dead band okay and if I select the um, this is what the heater did okay it turns on and off every about five minutes just to keep within that uh, two degree dead band all right and then now let's go back to what the solver was doing here. Okay, so this is a mixed integer, nonlinear programming um, solution. Okay, with differential equations, and it took um, there are about 33 binary variables here, uh, about 600 variables total, and uh, you can see the iteration summary right here, um, and it found some iteration or some integer solutions along the way. And, uh, and then it finally finished here after 163 uh, nonlinear programming um, intervals. Okay, and so that is the Python. Uh, let's go over to the MATLAB as well. So MATLAB is going to be the same thing. Uh, just when it loads up, then we'll see um, <clears throat> the exact same solution. You can also bring the solution back into MATLAB and do some plotting. But in this case, I'll just open a web interface. Okay, so I'll run it once it opens. Um, okay, and let me see if it's running. We started that. Okay, so it's running, and then you'll see the uh, solution that's going to come up here right at the end. Okay, and it came up with another web interface, and you can see the exact same thing there from the MATLAB interface. So we solved this nonlinear um, differential and algebraic equation problem with an integer uh, on off or a binary decision variable. I'm going to post um, the um, files here 
Uh, so if you come to control and then you go down to discrete variables, if you look at exercise one, that's one problem here. Uh, exercise two is this problem. And then you can just download the source files um, to your computer right here for Python and for MATLAB.